Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here, and I'm back with another Widgy video on Widgy 3.1. Now, ever since iOS 14, Widgy has given us the opportunity to have interactive widgets on our home screen. And now with the release of iOS 17, Apple has integrated interactive widgets into their native UI. So with this update, we're gonna get a few great features, such as interactive buttons and improved animations, You've got lock screen widgets on the iPad, live activities on the iPad. You can use Widgy widgets in standby mode on your iPhone, smart stack on watch, a new Siri shortcut, and an update to SF symbols and bug fixes. Now this is a widget with my reminders, and as you can see, I've got a tap action that will seamlessly complete that reminder and update the widget itself. Now this is done by using the normal feature within tap actions using a Siri shortcut, but now we have a new addition to that, which is Widgy Reload. So to those of you who have already got shortcuts set up, it is as simple as using Widgy Reload, adding it to your shortcut, and then selecting either Reload All Widgets, Home Screen Widgets, or Lock Screen Widgets, or Live Activities, or a specific widget that you want to reload just for that shortcut alone. And you can add this to anything like Play, Pause Music, Skip, volume up, volume down, brightness adjustments and settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you name it, VPNs. It's all in with iOS 17 now and it's fantastic. Works really well with Widget 3.1. So I'm just gonna go back to our widget now and show you a few animations and seamless tap actions. So there's a play, pause one, uh, skip song, and you can see how it's nicely transitioning. It only opens series shortcuts. Hopefully one day iOS 17 will allow that to stop. But for now, this is really nice and I'm really enjoying using it. And now I'm going to show you a couple more animations. These are just tap buttons, but as you can see, with using smart symbols, you can display on or off for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And again, just using the Siri shortcut. And then onto my favorite, which is the sliders. I think the animation looks fantastic. It displays a really smooth transition in the volume and brightness. And this control is done just from the display on the Widgy widget. Now, the next thing I want to show you is in the editor itself, and that's on tap actions, and it is a disclaimer. And now, when you create a tap action, you'll see at the bottom there, you have a small description of how to get the reload widget. And that is just by making sure that vibrate and sound is both on no, and that the widget action is on reload widget, and the external action is returned to home screen. And for all other tap actions, it will just be normal. Um, so set your Siri shortcut to the name that you want it to, make sure it matches the shortcut name and put your widget reload in your new shortcut. Now with watchOS 10, we got new stack widgets and Widgie has also added their widget capabilities to the stack widgets. So it's the same as the middle compilation widget from the 3.0 update. And if you want to know about that, you can watch my video on what's new in 3.0. But to add the stack widget, you just go to the plus button, select the slot you want, and then select the widget you want from your rectangular watch slots. If you want to change the widget, you can hold down and select the new widget you want. And if you want to tap the widget, you can open your watch faces. Now, the final update I'm gonna show you is on the iPad and with iOS 17, you can now have lock screen widgets and live activities on your iPad. A full tutorial on live activities is on the what's new in 3.0 video. But for this, I'm just going to show you how to put them onto your iPad itself. So you're going to hold down the lock screen until you see the wallpaper customization page. You're then going to press customize and then tap on the left hand side and choose lock screen. From there, you're going to tap on the widget panel on the left hand side again, scroll down to the widget app and then choose the widget slot that you want. As you can see, my whole iPad lock screen is now set up with widget and I absolutely love it. Even the top bar and to do that, you just hold again on the top bar, scroll down to widget and then select the inline widget that you want to use. And now finally, you can also have live activities on your iPad lock screen. And again, I absolutely love this feature. I've done a video on what's new in 3.0 and that's a full update on that. But I'm really pleased to see that you can do all of this on your iPhone and now on your iPad. Thanks so much for watching this video. 
please like, subscribe, ring my bell, feed my ego, and I'll see you on the next one.